Hello everyone. So I was looking at this question on the community about uh, getting the attachments from the Jira issue. Now uh, this question is from uh, from this user. I will not try and attempt to pronounce this name, but uh, uh, but the question is all about how do we get the attachments from Jira and uh, not just get the attachments, but also to send these attachments somewhere else, maybe to another tool. Maybe you're doing some integration and uh, this is of course a very common thing that you may want to do if you are trying to sync your Jira issues with uh, maybe your uh, legacy based tools uh, issues uh, or for some for, for some reason you want to fetch the issues. Now this is def definitely possible and uh, I will try to also share uh, the complete script to actually download the file. and. Uh, and before that, I want to talk about how you can do it in this video. Now, the good thing about Jira is, and by the way, this question is uh, on cloud. So I'll probably uh, use cloud here as an example. If you're on server, it is, uh, in fact, slightly simple because on cloud or oh, not, not on cloud, but I mean, on server, you have those files on the server and using script, you know, for example, you can always uh, look at the files and you can maybe save them somewhere locally although they are already saved um, <clears throat> on the disk but you can also uh, use groovy script to maybe move them maybe move them to uh, somewhere else and rename them because attachments on the server they are not stored as it is um, i mean th there is a folder but uh, you have to of course convert those numbers each and every each and every attachment will get a number based on of course the issue key so you have to do some work before you can uh, copy those attachments somewhere else now on cloud of course you can do that as well but it is not the the process is slightly different not slightly different but it is different so basically you can use rest api now let us say you have an issue i'll probably open the issue first and then i'll show you what i'm trying to do here with the rest api so if you open any issue in jira you of course you can take a look at the issue details and uh, you have all the fields and uh, I'm sure you know that whenever I talk about uh, fetching the fields that you have on Jira, you can actually fetch all the fields using uh, REST API as well. Now, before I show you the JSON file, I just want to show you these three files. So these three files uh, are attached on the, on, the, on the issue. And if you maybe look at uh, the, maybe, you know, you may want to click on it, you will probably get the preview and there is of course a unique URL, but you need this information uh, programmatically. Now, if you open this same endpoint like iOS 2, uh, iPhone 21, uh, or the same issue using the REST API, I mean, you can use this endpoint called REST API 3 issue, and then of course issue key. So when you look at the, the response here, which is nothing but a JSON, uh, you have all the fields that you need. And, and when I say all, all the fields, I am also talking about the attachments. So the attachments is, uh, is also you know within this JSON. Now, if you look at this particular portion, you have three attachments, like the same three attachments that we have on the issue. But if you expand further, you can see here that for the first attachment, you have uh, all the details like the URL for this particular attachment. This is something that can be useful. Then you have the ID which is needed. Then you have the file name because uh, this is the file name that will be. Uh, that eventually you need in case you want to maybe transfer it somewhere and then rename the file and uh, you have other details you have the uh, thumbnail icons with their different sizes and the main thing is of course you have the actual url of the file so if you click on this you will actually get the complete file that will be downloaded on your computer but of course we are doing it while we are logged into this jira instance from the same browser window when you're doing it programmatically, of course, you have to use maybe, let us say you're using curl, you have to authenticate, and then of course you have to fetch the information. But if you want to fetch the attachment, you can using a REST API on cloud. Um, and this is something that, that, that I was thinking of showing you. What I'll also do, because you're talking about the actual file, I, I have been of course talking about different things, wonderful things that you can do with, uh, with REST API. And I have been talking about uh, things like uh, talent API tester and uh, I've also used uh, script now for Jira on cloud. I've also used uh, auto blocks. I've also used uh, 
automation rules and 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 last couple of videos i am talking about how you can do it using curl the good thing about using curl is that uh, maybe you want to run it somewhere on the server on your linux server and you want to run it on a look on a maybe daily basis so curl is something uh, which is my personal favorite because uh, uh, you always it is like uh, i mean as long as you have a server with linux and of course curl and couple of other utilities like jq or maybe cut for example which is usually installed if not you can easily install them and then you can actually do a lot of wonderful things without writing much code uh, and it's more about getting the json and passing it and then doing something further so with the help of couple of scripts it could be a shell script or it could be a script in any of your f f favorite programming language maybe python or perl or maybe php or maybe java I, I i will probably let you do it yourself but the main thing to understand here is that you can do it using rest api and you can also fetch the information you can then uh, of course uh, save it somewhere if you're talking about attachments if you're doing maybe a migration uh, you can you can do you can do all those things uh, quite easily and as uh, and as i mentioned before i will try to show you this specific example because i do this quite a lot like copying the attachments and uh, it is uh, not at all difficult you just have to make sure that you are authenticating properly and when you, when it comes to the files you have to basically make sure you are able to download them and uh, you are using uh, uh, i mean you have to follow a few things to make sure that you are able to download the file and uh, once you have the file with you you can actually do the reverse you can also upload the file back to the issue so those things are possible and uh, and i have been talking quite a lot about uh, doing different things using uh, rest api because that is what uh, that is what people are doing these days because they are moving to cloud and when you move to cloud uh, if you're coming from server i'm sure you're missing a lot of those uh, automations that you can do on the server but the good thing about clou cloud is that you have rest api and when you, when it when it comes to rest api uh, there are multiple ways of uh, interacting with jira and uh, and uh, of course whenever i have something interesting to share i do share it with everyone so that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much